Create a flower vase. And just like that, here it goes. I just used AI to talk to my 3D printer and it started printing by itself. No complicated software, no designing for hours. Just my voice and AI doing all the work. So how did I make this happen? In this video, I'll show you the experiment I built that connects my voice, AI and my 3D printer. And don't worry if you don't know about the tools I'll be mentioning in this video. I'll explain them when I get to each step. By the end, you'll see how I go from giving a prompt to previewing a model to clicking print and watching it come to life. To make this possible, I needed a way to control my 3D printer remotely and let AI sense command to it. And that's where this tiny board orange pie comes into play. It's going to act as a printer's brain. And if you are curious, I have shared all the installation commands in the description, except the AI code, which I am still improving as I make this video. First, I flash Debian Bookworm onto an SD card, and then I boot up the Orange Pi Zero. Once it turned on, I grabbed its IP address from my router, so I could talk to it over the network. Then I ran few setup commands to prepare it for the software I was about to install. Again, all the installation commands are in the description. With the system ready, I installed Octoprint. Octoprint is a web interface that lets you monitor and control your printer from a web browser. Here is the command which you need in order to set up your Octoprint. After the installation, I used my IP with port 5000 and loaded the UI for the very first time. Once the UI loads, just fill up the form in order to configure your Octoprint. Then I plugged my Ender 3 Max Neo printer into the orange pie with the micro USB. Then in the Octoprint dashboard, I clicked connect and seeing that green light pop up meant that the printer was now fully online. You can see on the UI that it has started reading printer temperatures and other details. Next, I needed a slicing tool because the printer can't read 3D model files directly and it needs an instruction file called G-Code. I installed a slicing tool called Ultimaker Cura on my system and then started interacting with the Cura CLI commands so my app could slice files automatically without me opening the slicer window. I wrote a Python script and tested it with a sample STL. And sure enough, the code generated a fresh G code file ready for printing. With the prerequisites out of the way, it was time for the fun part, which is building my AI web app. I'm using a Python framework called Streamlit to build the user interface. And then I started coding with lots of hours of building logic and debugging error. It was finally working. Then I did a quick test. I asked it to create a cube. ChatGPT responded with Python code that creates a 3D model. That code runs locally, generates a STL file, and I can preview it right in the app. Once I like the preview, I can just click on the print button. So what happens with this print button? Behind the scenes, Cura slices the STL into G-code, Octoprint, which we just installed, uploads it to the printer, and the job kicks off automatically. And here it goes. You can see that the 3D printer has started printing. Watching it go from me speaking an idea to the printer laying down plastic, that's the magic. The cube was easy. ChatGPT provided the right code, Cura sliced it, Octoprint uploaded, and the printer handled it without any problem. Next, let's try something a bit more useful, like a flower vase. So I went to the UI again, and this time I used a voice prompting to create a simple flower vase. Same as before, it showed a preview of the vase 
and I clicked onto the print button to send the 3D model to the printer to start printing. This one actually came out functional, so that's a win. But not everything is working beautifully. With more complex design like a cat or a dog, it struggles to create more structured STLs. So sometimes the STL preview looked slightly incorrect, but that's fixable. With the later version, I'm tuning this with a custom AI model trained on thousands of STL coding examples. So the model it generates will be more cleaner and closer to what I actually asked for. But there was one more challenge. The code which ChatGPT generates has sometimes syntax errors and just fails to run. But I have fixed that with a retry logic. I have made a feedback loop to ChatGPT so the app grabs the error, send it back to the ChatGPT and asks it to fix the code until it runs correctly. Which means I don't have to touch CAD software or fix broken scripts myself, which is so satisfying. So I am literally giving a prompt, the pipeline handles the design, it repairs if there is any error, slice it and send it to the 3D printer for printing, all by itself. And this is just the beginning. Right now the system works with ChatGPT in order to generate the STL code. But as mentioned earlier, I am also training my own AI model to generate STL codes. That's been fed up with tons of 3D designing code, so it can create more accurate models from the prompt itself. I am also working on the process to make this entire process voice controlled. So the printer itself runs the app and no separate web interface needed. And to take it to the next level, I'm even exploring how I can upload 2D images and convert them to 3D model automatically. So if you like this experiment, let me know what different ideas or prompts would you like me to try. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.